what what happens is this is the this is the important thing. Um, the nefet there. Here's the important thing that I, that I want to explain. Um, the body of a person, human body, the part that shows up in an X-ray, the, you know, the, the physical part of the body. Um, that, that's that's really who we are. In other words, I, I don't know the existential question of uh, of who we are really comes down to the goof. Uh, the proof is that Elikai, we say, we say it's still in the morning, the Shaba Shilasato B. The Neshama you put in B. Bashmata is a B before there's a Neshama, right? The Elikai Neshama Shilasato B. So who are we? Who are I? So there's a, there is an aspect of B even before there's a Neshama. And in that, that goof um, has to get some kind of nefesh in order to be alive, some type of nefesh. But uh, this is this is a little bit uh, tricky here. The nefesh, this is probably true of the Ruach of the Shabbat, I'm just not honest with you. The, the nefesh has to it, um, the Ramchal explains this in the Derek Hashem, the nefesh has to it many, many different different levels, going from the most human to the to, to a very esoteric thing. For instance, the, the, the Gemara tells us over and over again, um, Chumash says, Chumash says, we say, Adam, he Adam, he Anefesh. Don't eat blood, what's wrong with eating blood? What's wrong with what blood different than, than eating tongue? <laughs> so the answer is, he Adam, he Anefesh. You're already touching the Nefesh. So, so is the Nefesh, it's the Dam. That's not uh, Neshama, that's not personality, that's not Kippur. It's Dam, it's blood, right? You, you cut yourself, you believe. Uh, you can get a transfusion and get some Nefesh from somebody else. But, uh, but Hadam, he had nefesh. The answer is that nefesh has, I think the Ram says, eight parts to it. And it goes from the most base um, Gashmias, like Dam, all of which is the life force uh, within a person, really. Um, you, can't, you can't live without blood. You can't live if your blood's not circulating. Um, ultimate, ultimately, your heart and, and bleed, it all has to do with blood. Even when you're breathing, it all has to do with, with oxy, oxygenizing the, the blood. It's all about blood. So, um, the, 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 the nefesh starts at the at the blood level, and then it works all the way up. I'm, I'm just saying the word. It all works all the way up to the personality level, like the psychological level of a person, the the, um, the, 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 the thought of a person, maybe the, you know who I am in terms of personality. So that's there's different eight levels of, of nefesh. What's the point of this? The point is, and this is the key thing. This is the key thing that um, there are really Two nefashas that we carry around, <laughs> really two. There's, um, in, in the words of the Arizal, there's the nefesh of Bahamas, <coughs> and the words of the Ramchal, nefesh achiyuni, <laughs> and then there's the nefesh alikis. This should not be confused. This, these are two important. Terms. Let's call it for our purposes, um, nefesh of Bahamas, nefesh alikis. Let me let me just explain. This should not be confused as many people do with Yitzhah Harai, Yitzhah Artel. No, two different, two different subjects. It shouldn't be confused also with um, not goof, really, and, and what, it, what it means is as follows, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us a goof, and then he gave us a nefesh, gashmis. That gashmi is nefesh, gashmi. That nefesh gashmi, which according to the Ramchal is the lowest of the nefeshes, is Bahami. Bahami in the sense that it's animalistic, it's flesh, it's blood, it's it's it's, it's gashmius, it's the domain of doctors. <laughs> that that nefesh, it's in other words, that's that's what that's what uh, physicians deal with. Physicians means they're dealing with physical things. So it's important. But that's the nefesh ha Bahamas. It's not a Bahamas because it's something bad. <laughs> it's not, not like, you know, oh, I have this behavior with me. Uh, but it's that's not what it is. It's just this is this is our this is what we are. We're, we are a type of an animal, like every other type of animal. The difference is, and this is where we become different than animals. Now, you see, before we're talking about the difference between us and angels. I'll start the other way. The difference of us and animals is that to this nefesh of Bahamas, a Kodesh Baruch Lake Su can attach a nefesh elikis, which is the lowest part of the Nisham. You get this? So uh, think about it in terms, and I'm speaking about it in uh, sort of mathematical terms, not, not in ways that we can understand necessarily. But think about, um, like, there's there's this nefesh, there's this nefesh, and they need to interlock. And when you interlock, when the nefesh of Bahamas 
interlocks to the nefesh, halakiz, to this bottom part of the neshama, if you will, the lowest aspect of the neshama, that gives you a, a segue into all the different parts of the neshama. That gets you into ruach, that gets you into neshama, that gets you up to the world of atzilus, if I were standing in front of HaKadosh Baruch That's if you're hooked in. So if there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a tie-in that has to take place here, a chibur. If you don't, so um, then you remain an animal. I mean, this is really a place of, of human choice, uh, uh, Bechira. The Bechira is, am I going to hook up to this thing? In other words, the, 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 the nefesh, which is the nefesh ha-bahamas, is intrinsic to our body. It's there. Everybody has it. Amalek has it. Everybody has it. Right? Nazis have it. It's, a, it's, a, it's part of the body. The question is, Kodesh um, Baruch gave us this gift, Neshama Shunasata be, he gave us a gift, which if the Torah didn't tell us, we wouldn't know. Adam was Adam before Hashem blew into his nostrils. We don't know, by the way, I don't think we know, that that's when, oh, you know, you know, he blew into his nostrils and he got up and he walked around. <laughs> that's the picture that we have, I think. No, not necessarily true. Maybe he was walking around before, too. I have other people, too, who are just not the Muhammad's maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe there are other humans also. Who Certainly, there were animals created. Um, there were snakes, right? <laughs> it was walk, we were walking around. You know, walking around and being alive was not what happened over here. What happened was that all of a sudden he received a neshama. That's the thing. So, so he was already what he was. That's why I'm saying that maybe Adamarishan was the first one to say, "Alekai, the shama shenosato be." You gave me a neshama. So this is, this is uh, it becomes his job <coughs> to, to interlock the nefesh of a house, which is like part of the goof still, to the nefesh of like If you do, now you have access to this whole, you, you just, you've just joined an elite group of people, and you have access to an entire uh, uh, ladder of spirituality, which can take you all the way up. If you don't, so that that's what you remain. You remain a a, a, a soulless person. There's Bahira here. You have you have a choice, and it's something. Um, <coughs> how you do this access is we're, we're going to talk about. It. But just I'm just explaining. I'm just giving a, a diagram of of what happens. The the the, the, um, the Balatani speaks out very 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 special. That um, you see everybody knows that there's Taryag Mitzvahs. There's 630 mitzvahs, right? There's um, Rabach mitzvahs essay, Shasa mitzvahs, Lois essay, right? 248, 365, essay, Lois essay. And everybody knows also that it, that we have in our goof, uh, Rabach Hevarim, Shasa Gidim, right? Uh, 240, I haven't, I don't know, I haven't counted, I'm not talking in anatomy, but that's what Chazal said. 248 limbs and 365 veins, sinews, nerves, whatever, whatever Giddim um, means, maybe all of those things, 365 of them. Um, I know that there's thousands and thousands of nerves in the body. I, I, you know, this, this one has thousands and thousands of nerves in the body, maybe hundreds of thousands of nerves in the body. But that doesn't, that, 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 there are still rosh, rosh of nerves. There are main pipelines of nerves. And so these are, these are the Giddim. What, what's the significance of the fact that there are Taryag and Taryag? The significance is that this is our bucko to interlock. That's the significance of it. The, the, the nefesh abahabas, which is what we have, right, um, can interlock with the nefesh eloikis, which is, in other words, so the, the, if you will, the highest part of the goof can now connect with the lowest part of the, the shabbat. And how do you do it? You do it through taryag mitzvahs. What does it mean? Uh, is that, everybody following me, or am I like talking Chinese here? <laughs> That's the, are we okay? Yeah. In other words, that the the because the in the, in the nefesh ruach the shaba, like once you start getting up there, this is a chart. This is um, uh, this is different parts of what we are and who we are spiritually. Um, so, for instance, Rechaim Elazar is going to say in a, in a couple of paragraphs. That um, it's the same same thing. It's makbil to machshava dibur ma'isa. So maybe those are terms that were that are easier for us to, to follow. 
But the, the point the point for, for this moment is that the Nefesh Elikis is interested, Hashem is interested through creating a Nefesh, not Ruach, not Neshama, but the Nefesh part of the Neshama. What he's interested in is that that the world of Asiya, the world that we live in, the world that we that we can do stuff in, touch and feel world, has its tikkun. It's really the holiest thing. It's it's uh, the fact that we can give tzedakah, or we can do bicker cholam. You know, the Arizal says the 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 olam hasiya of of nefesh, lashon of the of the Arizal, ha'iker hu b'halicha. The main thing is um, walking, walking to do bicker cholam, walking to do. Chesed, walking to Talmud Torah, walking to David, right? Tzar Halicha. Why is it the Iker the Halicha? Because the feet are actually the lowest part of the body. So you want to do with the Baisa, you want to incorporate, like you can just use your head, right? You can still learn all day, but you're not going to do any Kutakola if you learn all day. It's a good thing, but it, it's not going to, it's, it, what, what you want to do is completely permeate the world of Baisa. So what happens is that the Tariyad Mitzvahs are, are, are Makbil, Parallel, <coughs> excuse me, to the to the Taryag Evarim, Ramach Evarim Shisogidim. That otherwise there wouldn't be a lock in. It wouldn't be able to lock in. So uh, what what we're doing here with the Nefesh Adam, what we're doing is we're we're creating kedusha in the world of Asiya. That's what that's what's going on with the Nefesh. If if we if somebody chooses never to do mitzvahs, I don't want to know from it. I don't want to do anything good. I don't want to even be mivak or fola or do hamasas or anything like that. I don't want to give it a tzedakah. So what you have is you have a um, a potential rabachi var which is sahidim. You have a potential. You have the correct layout to have everything there, but boom, that doesn't happen. You've never interlocked it to the purpose of why we were created to begin with, and that could be. Uh, rove in the world. That 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 person, by the way, who never locks in to the higher place, a schai karis. That's what karis means. Karis means cut off. There's a cut off between um, me, the bee, and the neshama shenosata bee. There's a cut off. Karis. Uh, um, there's there's certain averes that are so bad that they cut you off immediately. There's certain hashkafas that are so bad. But but the 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 thing is that the the nefesh is all about the world of Asiyah. And th therefore, it has to do with Tariyag Bitzvah. The, the, um, the Ruach is all about the world of Dibur. There's so much that we do with Dibur. Right? Um, <coughs> the Dibur. Uh, somebody, somebody thinks, somebody Averis, that you can do bedibor. When somebody bids us, you can do bedibor. That doesn't have mice at all. So what that is is it's a, a tikkun, if you will, of a higher world than the world of Asiya. It can still be part of the Taryag, but it's crawling up higher. And then there's mitzvahs that you do b'machshava, emuna, b'tachem, nashem. There's averus that you do with b'machshava, avodazar is it even b'machshava. So interesting, by the way. I just want to throw this out there. The 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 lashon of Chazal. Of Bach Shava Toiva, what's the lesson? It's Tare Levaisa. So it means if you have a Bach Shava Toiva, you never get to do the thing. So what does that mean? I'm here, and I kind of like, I wanted to get it all the way down here to the world of Asiya, but I never got there. So Mitzstare, what does the word Mitzstare come in here? Just say it's Ki'ilu, you did the Maisa. What's the word Mitzstare? It doesn't count unless you did the Maisa. <laughs> so what is the start? It has to join, right? You connected. need you yeah. need to connect it. You need to connect it. If it's a, so, Chazal did us a favor. <laughs> they told us that Machshava Tova. If you wanted to do it, you went. <coughs> you, you had all the kavanah to do it. You ran to give the tzedakah. If you gave it, you're running after the other. That Allah, he disappeared. So somehow or another, that's mitzdarev So that connects. The key word here is mitzdarev. Machshava Rab Baruch Hashem is not but starish levaisa because we say Chazal say look uh, so we had a machshava ra. I thought about eating tray. I was thinking about eating tray, but by the time you would have come to eat the tray, you would have probably not eaten the tray. It's like a a, a, a down the kav for for us. So it's lok mit starish levaisa. So it all has to do with levaisa. Machshava tov mit starish levaisa. Machshava ra edo mit starish levaisa. Is that levaisa in a way? The the Lemaisa is the most important part of of the whole of the whole uh, diagram here because 
That's really the purpose of why Hashem created the world. Hashem didn't create the world for us to have uh, or to talk. You know, it, it's not just to talk to talk, but it's to walk to walk. Halicha is the Iker. So, so the, the, the whole purpose of, the, of us, the Bria, the whole purpose of the Bria is Hashem said, okay, I'm making a Bria, I need a nation. I need a nation. And, and, I, and I need people that are going to uh, be able to bring this Kedusha to this world. So that would be us. Uh, to bring the Kedusha to this world means that we're taking our, our, our Tairag that everybody has, Ramachi Barim and Shesad Yidim, and we're hooking it up to a higher place called Tariyag Mitzvahs. I, I need that. So in a certain way, uh, the, the Asiya is, is, um, is the most important thing. What happens if you do a Mitzvah Shalom Lushma? So what happens is you did the Olam of the Asiya, but now you didn't hook it up <laughs> to the next step, which is the world of Ruach and the world of, uh, of the Sheva. So... Did you do something? Probably you did do something. You did a tikkun in the world of Asiya, but it stopped. It was, it was short-circuited. Instead of short-circuiting it like a Russia does, where it's not connected at all, I've done my mitzvahs. I've done something in Asiya. I gave my tzedakah. But I didn't mean to give tzedakah. I just gave it by accident. You know, it was like I didn't, uh, you drop money. or you, know, you just did it by accident. So you did some kind of a tikkun in the world of Asiya. God likes that. But you didn't, you didn't hook up. The whole thing is to be mitchaber. So it's like the, 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 the cart and the horse are not hooked up. So did you do something? You did something. But it's a mitzvah shalom l'shma. So this is, this is the, what we need to um, remember, is that the, the, the dargos, is, it's all about um, the olam of asiya. That's where we hook up into the maisa with the nefesh. Hence, the nefesh, and not only the nefesh, you don't find that there's a ruach halakis and a ruach bahamas, or a neshama halakis and a neshama bahamas. Only... Nefesh. Nefesh is the only one that, that has the same thing in Machbil here as it does there, like an alpha. Plug in, out, like it, it has, like, right? It, it's a, a positive and a negative, and it fits together, it locks together, and that takes us on a journey upwards. It's a spiritual journey. Rahman is somebody who never accesses this, right? I mean, like, you can, you can live your whole life, God forbid, and just have no access to just like, like existing and, and uh, so, um, it's, it's, it's the same thing as, as a behemoth. Maybe you know, personally this person will do some kind of a mitzvah shalom l'shva. So he did something, he did something. But basically, you're, you're not connected to, to the, uh, to the rebote shalom. You're not using your connector. And if you're not using your connector, so, um, it, it's not, uh, well, we're going to learn what it's not. But it's not, it's not a, certainly not a full mice. Um, if I'm not explaining, if I'm not describing the, this correctly, but isn't there a lot like this Anayim, which is greater than the Torah? But, but what is a good, good question? So you're describing it very well. <laughs> the the, the, the Torah about Adif, I buy Sadif. So the word says, God will tell the Torah. Why? Oh, maybe with the advice. That's God of the Gibbard. It can't be, uh, I'll leave it to Abbas, the Torah is bigger than Vice. The only thing is that how can Tyre be bigger than Vaisa? Vaisa is what I should want. I see it. This is, it's, a, it's all going to happen in this world. It's all about Levisa. It's all about Levisa. This is a mistake to think that there's... If, if a person um, is just like dealing in the, in the you know, otherworldly things, and you're not Levisa, so then um, it, you didn't do the Ratz and Hashem, because the whole thing, the whole creation was just the Pesach in this world. So it's, it's, um, it, never reached its, uh, it never reached its destination. The plan never reached its destination. <coughs> you know, you, you can, um, you, know, you know, it's it's the keyboard, you know, like take my example of the plug, you know, so if it's not plugged in on this end, so nothing's happening, right, on the, in the world of us. Here. It's not plugged in on this end, you know, where, where, where your light bulb is or computer or nuclear generator is, it's not plugged in on that end, it's also nothing's happening. And if you touch it, you get hurt. <laughs> it's exposed. So, so it, what, it, it has to be connected on two ends. So Rath that you know, the person who's never connecting anything, you're walking around, you play jump rope with his wire. But you're not doing anything. That's like a behavior. Um, as opposed to the, to the person who's connected it. And the, where, the place of connection, this is, let me just sum it all up in one sentence. The, the place of connection between us and the spiritual world is 
The surprise is, it's the world of Misa. The place of connection is not in the world of Asheva. We think if we'll go on a mountaintop and we'll meditate and we'll be spiritual and I'll, and I'll learn Musser and Kabbalah or whatever it is, I'm connecting. You're not connecting. Because that you can be connecting, but you're not connecting all the way. It's a short circuit because it's all the place. That's not what Hashem wants. Hashem wants it to happen in this world. That's the world of, uh, of Misa. It's, this is, this is, but there are things that we do in the world of Misa. There are things that Misa itself needs Lishma. Lishma, um, this is why the Makubalim like us to even say it. Hashem Yichu Kuchabrichu Shintek. Right? Hinani Mukhan Umzuma. Why? What do you have to say it for? Just do it. Dibor. I want to bring Dibor in here. Ruach. And of course, Machshava, or the world of Neshama, which is, which is really connecting. So you, you, if you think about it, as this is connecting to this, this is connecting to this, and this is connecting to, to the Neshama. The Neshama is connecting to connect to Kadosh Baruch Hu. So it's just um, amateur to say, oh, my Neshama, um, you know, uh, it's a Nefesh, it's a Chelech it's Alekai a, Mimal. Uh, that's true, but it's it, it, there's a there's a system here, and that's why it's important for us to know to 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 connect. Um, What's the highest point where it's actually considered Misa? Like at what point, someone who's learning all the time? I mean, there's more. As was, you know, well, I forget who it was who didn't want to tie his shoes because it was like a moment of Rasa Yom Nasa. So, what, 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 like there's, there doesn't seem to be any room for mice. So, so where's the highest well, I mean, point? I mean, we're not still in Gave us a doctor. Like, in other words, his he understood that his tikkun is in the world of Machshav. Let's tell you something very, very interesting. Um, <coughs> just there's so many different examples of this, but I just want to give two. Um, Talmud Torah, just because you brought this up. Talmud Torah. Talmud Torah connected Kulam. Why? Maybe with a mice. Okay? Um, Talmud Torah is, let's, let's take the um, Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, and let's put it in words that are easier for us, Machshava, Dibur, Maisa. Where does Talmud Torah fit into that? Where, where do you do Talmud Torah? Machshava and Dibur and Maisa. The Maisa is Maisa Mitzvahs. Hmm? Dibur and Machshava. Dibur and Machshava. So, um, there's a machlekes, um, there's a machlekes Talmud Torah if you have to articulate the words when you're learning or not. Machlekes, the Gro and the Balatani. It's, it's a, a very special machlekes. Um, if, if you're, her Torah is, the Gro says, Torah is machshava. If Torah is machshava, so the, the, the deeper has nothing to do with it. Um, so the Balatani asked, and they asked directly on the Grub, but he discusses this, and this is in the Tanya and in the Kuntras Achran and back to Rav Shulchanar. He says that the Gemara says that if you're walking through a Mako and Matunov, walking through a dirty place, a sewer, so uh, are you allowed to be Maharer B'divrei Torah or not? The Gemara says Maharer B'divrei Torah, you're allowed to think in Torah. So apparently, you're allowed to think in Torah, um, it means to say it's not Torah, otherwise you wouldn't be allowed to do it. <laughs> so, so says the Balatanya that Torah requires dibor in order to be mukhaim in the mitzvah of Torah. Meaning, the question is the question of machlokes. There is it's a deep machlokes whether Talmud Torah belongs to the world of machshava or does it belong to the world of dibor. Now, it doesn't mean that that once that according to the Balatanya you don't have machshava in it. Also, obviously, so be you're two world worlds, just like like either the Kubalim or the Hasidim want to put Dibor to their Misa um, by saying L'shem Yifu Kuchibrichu and doing a Dibor. I'm doing a Mitzvah now. So the same thing is you want to put Dibor to your Machshava and that's what Talmud Torah is. And that's otherwise, now this is very important. When you're doing Talmud Torah, what are you connecting to what? Could be Talmud Torah Kenegat Kulam. Why is it Kenegat Kulam? Because it's really Misak in three worlds. You're Misak in the world, especially if you don't, if you speak it out. You're Misak in the world of Akshavah. You're Misak in the world of Dibur. And you're also, Dibur may be with a Misa. And, and, and there's also a Misa, as the, as the, as the, um, the Rav Shulchan Aruch says, Akimas Fosayim, just moving your lips, is already a Misa, so you're working in the world. Dibur in it has Misa. 
So what he what he wanted to do was be Masak in three worlds, Talmud Torah Kinnegah Kulam. I'm saying that he doesn't say that. But Talmud Torah Kinnegah Kulam. But here, here's uh, so so fascinating. Um, if you look at the um, typical Nusach Ashkenaz, I think this looks far. So we make a Birch HaSat Torah. I should be telling me to myself, it's Yivano. What do you say? Lasek B'Divrei Torah. Lasek is an Yivanov of Machshav. That's Nusach of Ashkenaz and Nusach of the Gra. According to the uh, Siddur Hari, which is really the Nusach of, of the Balatani, I don't know if the, the Hari said this, but it, the Grach is Asher Gishanu, it's the Sabbath Sivano, Al Divrei Tarim. Divrei is Lashon Divor. Um, Al Divrei Tarim, two different Brachas. Why? Because they're doing two different Brachas. The, the Machlaikis, the, the, the Goin, and the, and the Balatani, is how do you touch up the mitzvah of, of Talmud Tarim? Is it a mitzvah of, of Divor or is it a different Machshava? If it's a mitzvah, it's a mitzvah of Bakshava, so Lassen could be retired. If it's a mitzvah of Debra, I'll debra retire. So, and, 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 and this, you get into the whole Machlechus and Imar Brachus of Mahar Machamat tonight. The Brach of Lassok continues with the Fino Fiam Chavit Israel, continues with Peh, even in that Brachus. Yeah, Brach. yeah, but what's the mitzvah? Right. Right. So Want to say something or not? It terminates all three because it's a Ruch of the Kol Bishmura, and it's uh, and and. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Therefore, it's Talmud Torah connected Kulam because it, it somehow does connect all three in a way that no, it's like a really good, it's a, it's a juicy, it's a juicy mitzvah Torah because it actually does the world of Machshava, and then we know that it, it, it connects even higher because there's there's higher we're going to learn. Right now we're learning about the three, but there's there's Chaya, there's Yechida, there's higher levels even which are getting really close. Not going to so Torah comes from like a different world, but it's interesting. It comes from a different world yet. It's so lamaisa, you know, like uh, it talks about the oxen and and, uh, and uh, puravu and uh, it's, uh, keeping kosher and this bird and that bird, you know. It's all very, it's all very um, lamaisa. So much so that other religions like couldn't the uh, havdo, they couldn't identify with her. What's with all the lamaisa? You know, the whole Christianity is based on just let's get rid of all this lamaisa. Main thing is, are you a good person? Are you a good Jew? So the answer is no. Because <laughs> a, good, a, a good, you might be a good something, but you're not a good Jew. Because a good Jew takes it, it, there's a shleimus of uh, machshava dibur and ma'isa. Without that shleimus, you don't have the you don't have a, you don't have as I said before the trifecta. I said on, on um, another example too. Um, I mentioned this somewhere. Shabbos, I gave my Shabbos name. That um, you, you see that um, when it comes to the the the, the uh, veros, there's also three Madregas, right? There's there's the Averas of Maisa, right? I trade. There's Averas of Dibur, um, Lashon Har, or an easy one. Um, and then there's Averas of Machshav, Kfir, Avodazar. The only place where we say the Machshav of Rab at Star of Maisa, the only two places, is by Avodazar and Arayats. Why? Because that is how you do Avodazara. You do Avodazara with the uh, Avodazara is a. If somebody's, God forbid, worshiping Avodazara, what they're doing is it's not that they built an idol. It, it, they're being <coughs> Kogang in the world, in a very high world. It's a Pagam in the world of, of, of the highest world of Machshab, the world of Neshama. This causes huge things like Harbin, Basin, Mikdash, Harbin, Eretz, Yisrael, Gullus. This is big. This, this is a very big thing. Um, the, 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 so there's three kinds of Averos, and the Swarim say that um, there's also three kinds of Einchen for Averos. Kenegin. Important Kiddush, of course. Uh, we, we know that um, Allah Shein Bomaisa, think about those words in a new way now. Lav, I did a Lav, but I did a Lav Shein Bomaisa. It had no, it had no Maisa in it. So how do I do a Lav Shein Bomaisa, for instance? Sell him. Hmm? Can't hear you. No, no sell him. Don't leave the cover on. Okay. Why so? Good. Lav shein boy mice. You go all the way to Kutchen. That's Stevor. Stevor. What's Stevor? Lav shein boy mice. Deep. Every time you do a lav of Stevor, it's a lav shein boy mice. <coughs> so you, you, you talk much in Hara, it's a lav shein boy mice. You don't have to go all the way. Um, it doesn't have a Maisa to it because Dibur lav to Maisa them. Hirur, interesting, could Dibur. Yeah. But Dibur is not the Maisa. A lot of people talk. People talk about, let's say, you know, there's going to be talks about giving tzedakah. Talk, talk, talk. <laughs> the poor guy is, gonna, is hungry. You know, like, talk, talk. It needs the Maisa. And then it also needs all of Dibur. 
because you see in tzedakah, um, you give tzedakah, you get one bracha. You, you talk with the tzedakah, and you give person comfort with the tzedakah, and physical with the tzedakah, you get many more brachas, right? And then there's much trouble. So deep work, it's always good to have all three. That's the that's the winning case. So a lot of shame bo maisa, ain like in Allah. That's that's the so, right? Lav shame bo maisa, mishnah makas, ain like in Allah. What does it mean? Because if you do a lot that a, a lav that has a maisa, so makos, getting getting actually physically punished by the basin is a um, a tikkun for a bad maisa. Here I did this maisa, right? Um, and here's my tikkun of makos. Somehow makos, or even arba misus mesus basin, or whatever it is. A lav she'ain by maisa ain't like an Allah. Basin doesn't get involved. In this, because the basin's job is to be masakin the, the avera, which is in Misa, so they, they, there's an idea. So what happens if a person does an, uh, um, an avera, the deep work? So basin is not doesn't give him makos, but say the svarim they do do something. There's a different kind of an idea. There's an idea for deep work. So if you look at if you open the shulchan aruch, you'll see hilchos haramim on the dar on the duyim hilchos nidui becher. The Chos Nidu is talking specifically about a person who does an Avera B'dibur, but he doesn't do it L'maisa. Um, the Gemara gives an example, interesting example, when it's made about HaMavaza Tamar Chacham. Right? Tamar Chacham is there. HaMavaza Tamar Chacham Barat. So the, what do you do with this guy? You put him in Nidu. Put him in Cherem. Sounds like excommunication. It sounds like some kind of a, a, a sociological device. It's not only that. It's it's not just a way of it's it's what's it's a mita connected mita, if you will, in the sense that if you did a mice, uh, you shot the Talmud Chacham. <laughs> so then we give you makus, we give you misa. If you did a debor of a mavaza Talmud Chacham, so your oinish is the debor, hence you have nidu and cher. Let's say you did an avera the machshava. What's avera machshava? Avodazar. Uh, arayas, um, meaning, is, you, you, um, how do we know his machshava? So the answer is there was a gibli of machshava, but it's a machshava de ga'aver. We only know about it because he worshipped the Avodazar, but maybe, or he spoke about worshipping Avodazar, or you know he has deos kozavos. So what happens to that person? The basin says he's a mumar. A mumar means you have no nemonas. Your your mamrim hayisa me mashem alekechem. That's lashon mumar. You you have. Um, we're, it's not that we're excommunicating you, but deeper. That just like your machshava is crooked, you were makalkel your machshava. So we're doing a machshava thing connected to. So it's really not based in um, doing anything. It's just that if your if your chet is machshava, it's hilchos mamrim. If your chet is be deeper, it's hilchos charomim. If your if your chet is b'maisa, so it's hilchus makas, and, that, and that's the way that's the way that goes. So it's it's um it's 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 a hundred percent makbil, if you will. The the three the three um, the three einshim can I get the three um, types of uh, averus? Um, but another a similar thing that if you um, do an averu on the tshuva. So the Rambam says, Karak Beis Halach Aleph, the most famous Rambam in Hilda's Tshuva, says, says the Rambam that if you want to do Tshuva on a Chet that you did Lamaisa, so there's three things you need to do. One of them is um, Machshava, Mishcharit, Mishcharit, Kabbalah Al-Asid. There's, there's um, brain work to do here, Machshava work to do here, Neshama work to do here feel bad, I'm not going to do this anymore, I'm not, you make, you make resolution, resolution. The second thing you have to do, to do tshuva, is what? Vidui. So vidui is all about dibur. If you say vidui belay, you're not yet to say vidui. Vidui has to be bedibur. And the third thing the Rabbam says is a chiddush, that, that you go back to the place <laughs> where you did the Avera and don't do the Avera. 
Everybody, it's all nervous about those around my life. I'm going to go again to the French Riviera. How am I supposed to put myself into a muck of uh, of Nisoyen like that? I've got all kinds of uh, caches, but that's a, it's it's trivial. Those technical questions. The, the the point that the Rambam is making that is that is that you a chet is a pegia in machshava deeper and meiser. It's a pegia in machshava um, in deeper and in meiser. So the tikkun, and just like the oichim, have to be. On three levels, so so too does the does the chuba have to be on three levels, and you have to be misak in all three things. The Rambam says it clear, all in one paragraph. This is this is, this is what chuba is. It's not even um, like the, the 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 easier way to understand it, and the true way of understanding it also is that it's a program. You know, there's a program like there's a twelve step program, there's a chuba program, and and the program brings you back to. A good place. I'm sure that's true, but but the the technology of it is maybe this is even the technology of the twelve step program is that there's three things here that have to be misuka. You know, it's um, I, I just give you an example like like whatever the situation. Let's say a person is having a huge, uh, um, a huge uh, relationship, a shalom bias problem. So um, obviously, you have to make a tikkun in three places. If you want to make a tikkun, the the the, the tikkun has to be lamaisa, you know for sure it has to be lamaisa. Lamaisa, like be a good wife, be a good husband, you know just uh, just do what you're supposed to do, to fulfill your duties that it says in the Ksuba, and fulfill your duties of, of being a uh, uh, your spousal duties. That's the that's the lamaisa. But we all know it's not good enough. It's not good enough to, to robotically. Uh, fulfill your. Let's say you hire somebody else. It wasn't you do all those things. <laughs> <laughs> like it's 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 not good enough because the, there's not a there's not a keyboard. So you have to add into this um, um, piece over here. You have to add in some deboard. Arayat mikudashesli brachos deboard deboard of ava deboard of 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 chesed the tayras chesed al lishoyin no. It's, it's, it's not good enough, you know. It's, it sounds like, um, you know, I always think about the, um, the fiddler on the roof, you know. Do you love me? You know, I, I do laundry. <laughs> I cook for you. I take care of your kids. I go, what are you asking me such a stupid question? Well, that's not what I asked you. I'm not asking you what you, this, this is a scene. You know, I'm, not, I'm not asking you what you do for me. I'm asking you, um, I, I need some deep work here. <laughs> I need some deep work. And of course, if it's empty, then you're losing, it, it doesn't have the machshava. So what good is it that you have the deep work if it's empty deep work? And if you have the maisa, which is empty maisa, it's good, it's something, you know, but uh, the, 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 the maisa is not it. And the, it's not shlemos. If it's a maisa, shaloy lishma. It's something, okay, it's something, you know, might be kedai to stay just for this uh, maisa over here, you know, paying the bills, whatever, you know, washing the floor. Cooking for you, like that might be kedai, but that's not what it's, that's not, of course, what, what marriage is. It might be even the deep word that's kind of nice, but it's not real necessarily. And what good is deep word if it's not real? Well, I guess people like to say, people like to hear these things, but the ikr is the bachshav. So let's say you're a husband only for bachshav. Like, theoretically, I'm a good husband. <laughs> it's a, it's also garnished, right? So you have to have the three aspects. You have to always have machshava, deeper, maisa, or in a more sophisticated level, you always have to have um, the neshama, ruach, nefesh, nefesh, ruach, neshama, nara. It's key. It's key to the whole thing. Is to, is to have this nara. And there are many, many more examples of where you find the the three steps. But of, of what we have to start thinking now, unlike you know, can't be amateurs in this. Start thinking of the neshama as that. Let me just hazard the whole thing in one, in one or two sentences. There is the world of Misa, which is so important because without the world of Misa, first two things happen. First of all, Hashem has not completed the circuit of what He wants, which is to light up the world. Or Lagoyim, plug it in all the way up, light up the world. That hasn't happened. And that's why we have Ramach Hebarim and Shasagidim to be able to hook into those Taryag Misa. So that's important. That's only working well if it's lishma and it's hooked up to the ruach, that's why we make a bracha, by the way. We forget about the book of Baal and saying, we make a mitzvah, that's what mitzvahs are. And that's, and, and that's only good if it's hooked up to the world of machshava, the world of neshama, which is kavana, 
um, the world of neshama, which is a, which is a very spiritual place to be. Maybe the kavana doesn't only mean I'm the to the mitzvah, all the way up to the kavana zarizel. You know, like the, there's kavana, but all those kavanas are nothing if you don't do, <coughs> you don't do the ma'aseh. So, so the three things on every aspect, and so too with aishim, and so too with tshuva, and so too with um, with just about everything. It's always coming down to or coming up, if you up or down, both ways. It's always coming to these three these three levels of interlocking one until the other until you get to the to, to a, a, a Maisa Shalom. By the way, just in Parakut Bays, um, so Rapin Velazhin um, talks about Maisa, and in Parakut Gimel, he talks about Dibur, Tiktikuna Dibur, and in Parakut Dalit, he talks about Machshava. So what's significant about that is the order. Like it's the the order from our point of view starts with 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 Maisa. So it's like the Chiddush says, you know, the the the, um, the Chetzonius is Meir of the Pneumius. I don't, don't really say that anywhere, but it's a thing that people say. So um, the Chetzonius is Meir of the Pneumius. That somehow or another you can start, or maybe the words of the Gemara of like Prison um, Shviosik and Paramitz of Shalai Lishma, Shemitai Shalai Lishma Balishma. It's it's a, it's um, you start here. You could say Godel Tyrus may be the day Maisa, or you could say Godel Lishma Shem may be Loy Lishma Shem may be the day Lishma. But either way, you're traveling. Habalei Ha, Loy Tali, it does Loy 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 Mahani, and it and it and it doesn't work. What happened to Chaya? What? Collecting for Hakmas's Kala, preparing very well.